Looking at that Wednesday, we've got that Valentine's forecast. So how about a cocktail idea? I think that's a great idea, of course. But how about maybe two, uh, one cocktail and one mocktail? And what if we show you a neighborhood joint and you can give them a little love as well? I have just the recipe for a fun and festive Valentine's Day in Mike's Mix this week at IE Italian Eatery. So we're unique in South Minneapolis to actually have a liquor license. And Italians aren't really known for cocktails. They're known for wine. For an Italian restaurant that's more than meets the eye, look no further than Italian eatery. At two and a half, it's a full-grown adult in restaurant years. And that staying power may be due in part to a style of Italian cooking that's relatively new to Minnesota. They're used to, I think, from what we notice, is clean, simple flavors here. We really go for that rustic and bold Flavors. Kind of long simmered flavors yeah. melding together. Yeah, we do. I mean, now that we're in winter, we're doing a lot of bolognese, we're doing stews, we're doing long Sundays, eight hour sauces. That sensibility comes from Eric's upstate New York roots and long family dinner. We're third generation Italians. My mother is from Sicily, Italy, and my dad is from Carrara. Sicilians and northern Italians don't get along, so we say that's why they left. Uh, to get married so they could get along when they they come to America. No baggage. They left all the baggage at the, in the old country, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. All of the cocktails on IE's menu are elevated craft cocktails. You'll find fig honey shrub, yellow chartreuse, and Montenegro in drinks on the menu, and Tomas Iniguez behind the bar. So this is the cedar. This is the this one is, that outsells all the rest. This is the cedar. The Italianized Old Fashioned stars Elijah Craig, named Whiskey Advocate's 2017 Whiskey of the Year. This is already a spectacular bourbon, but with an extra 24 hours, you can make it shine. So these are the cedar planks. They're food-grade uh, cedar planks. We uh, char them get a nice char on them, then we put them in the oven, we bake them for a bit, it kind of opens up, opens up the wood. Another simple substitution, replace the common simple syrup. Salerno would be like equivalent almost to like a Cointreau. Okay. So, but this one here is a blood orange, adds a little sugar component and gives it a little bit of that citrus, that citrus vibe laying over the top. Spirit, sugar, and bitters come together and are stirred over ice. The garnish is an orange peel expressed over the top of the glass. The cedar. Mm. So smooth and smooth. warm. Kind of a warm, woodsy note, too. Right. Looking for a no proof option? It's based off a of hibiscus, and we have two great owners here, Eric and Vanessa Carrera. And Vanessa's auntie, Peggy, uh, this is her homemade recipe. Hibiscus flowers are steeped with cinnamon sticks, reduced down, and combined with honey to make this concentrate. One ounce of that is combined with soda water, 7 up, and ice to make this stunning. Valentine's Red Cocktail. Hibiscus. Nice and bright and light, but also that little cinnamon. Right, and it's one of those, it, it's, mm -hmm. since it's like very light like that with a lot of flavor, you can have more than one. Sure. You know, it's not something it's that not you're going to... It's not cloyingly sweet. Yeah, yep. exactly. So the recipes for today's drinks are posted at WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix. Also there, information on IE's V-Day to go. So this is cool. This is like a Blue Apron style kit yeah. where they give you all the raw ingredients to make a full meal from appetizer to dessert. And it's 75 bucks to serve too. You pick it up on Valentine's Day and you impress your honey. What a nice idea. Or you eat double portions yourself alone. I like that too. On the couch too. in the dark. <laughs>